Good morning, guys. I hope we're all sparkly. We're going to talk about the coronavirus today. Why? Because it's hard to avoid. And we do need to take it seriously. I actually haven't paid too much attention to it. As some of you guys know, I don't actually listen to the media because I believe it's a form of manipulation. However, we do need to take this virus seriously, which is essentially a serious flu. The flu kills people each year. However, this virus is spreading rapidly. The government has an action plan. We should adhere to the action plan. However, we should not stop living. We should not live in fear. We should make sure that we take the necessary precautions to protect ourselves, but we need to crack on with life. Why? Life is all about balance. So I want to bring a sense of perspective that I believe is being lost here. I went to the gym today. Some people might think that's ludicrous. Going into a communal area that is sweaty, dirty and exposing myself to the virus, potentially. Um, I was actually disgusted because I go, I train every day at six o'clock in the morning. Uh, I was disgusted to see that there were no cleaners. None of the staff were taking any precautions. There's a sign. Honestly, I was horrified. So I did complain. And the excuse was, well, we've got a cleaner off. These two girls stood behind reception, chatting away. This is the reason why the virus will continue to spread. Apathy, banality, and nobody wants to take any responsibility. So we've got to take personal responsibility. Which goes back to why the hell did I go to the gym? Because I was voluntarily potentially exposing myself to the virus. Well, I'll tell you why. Because I don't want to live in fear and I took necessary precautions. I made sure that my water bottle cap was not on so I wasn't touching it and then taking a sip. I never put my hand to my mouth and I washed my hands thoroughly for 30 seconds after I finished the gym session. But still, an unnecessary risk. Life is all about balance, risk, reward. The risk, potentially exposing myself to coronavirus, because let's not kid ourselves, gyms are filthy. Numerous people in and out all day long, touching machines, touching the dumbbells, sweating, coughing, spluttering. But why did I train? Well, I train every day. I train every day at six o'clock in the morning. And my hormones are balanced. So not only being on TRT and not having super physiological levels. Let's talk about man flu. Why do, why do guys get affected more severely than women? One guess, testosterone. Women have a stronger immune system than men. So yeah, just bump up your dose guys, no. Appreciate the need for balance. Anabolic versus catabolic, sympathetic versus parasympathetic. Appreciating this is integral to long term physical and psychological well being. Homeostasis, the process whereby your body maintains a constant internal environment and resists external change, is complicated. 
So work with your body. Exercise. What's the primary hormone that's released? Cortisol. Cortisol, the stress hormone. Catabolic. It actually confers immunity. But conversely, too much has a negative impact on immunity. So doing what I normally do, being a balanced human being with balanced hormones, I went to the gym because that's what I do. My hormones are balanced. I wanted cortisol floating around my body because it actually confers immunity. Not too much, but enough. Nothing out of the norm. I trained hard. It's not unusual for me. What happens when you go on holiday? People get ill. Why is that? It's because your cortisol levels drop. That immunity is no longer there. So all these people who lead active lifestyles, who are now thinking, I'm going to sit at home, I'm going to do, 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 do. I'm not going to do anything uh, because I don't want to expose myself. You are potentially going to bring it on yourself. So you must appreciate the need for balance. That does not mean unnecessarily exposing yourself to risk and harm, but it means that you need to appreciate and understand how important this is. Risk reward, risk benefit. So we do need to take this virus very seriously, but we need to appreciate that you need a semblance of normality in order to be healthy. Is there anything else we need to say about hormones, cortisol, testosterone? Guys, namaste.